it takes an enormous amount of work to put these videos together. So we thank Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's video. Bright Sellers is a monthly wine club that matches you with wines that you will love. Right now, Bright Sellers is offering 50% off the first six bottled box that you order. So once again, thank you Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's show. I've yet to meet a lady who does not appreciate roses. And with roses come that sense of romance, closeness, and perhaps when you are with that someone special, it could lead to a long lasting, memorable, and enormously satisfying relationship for the years ahead. But how you handle the situation at the beginning of your courting, whether through wine or flowers, really depends on how you handle the situation. It could be exquisite, beautiful, or it could be as thorny as the thorns on a rose and you'll be tossed aside. You don't want that. So my suggestion is, let's go back to the time of the medieval ages, where there was that care and concern. This particular bottle is from Emilia Romagna. And um, it was how they would court the lady of their desires in those days. The gentleman would have an assistant who would be with him almost every single waking moment of the day. And the ladies would also have their assistant. If the gentleman happened to like a particular lady, he would ask his assistant to go and find out where the lady stayed. They would then engage a painter who would wait outside or close to where the lady stayed. And he would paint a picture of the lady. And once that was completed, they would get a bottle of wine and they would then make sure the ceramic was attached. The gentleman's assistant would then take that bottle and give it to the assistant who was waiting for the lady. If the lady accepted the bottle, now there's a possibility of a relationship. It's very romantic. And has that changed through the ages? No. So gentlemen, whether it's wine in the Middle Ages or wine in the modern day, when you're at dinner, doesn't matter what you may like. I suggest be more accommodating for the ladies, see what she likes, and there's no harm. You, by doing so, you are showing your humility, your ability to accommodate and be flexible. Because as we know, whether it's a sparkling wine or a red wine or a white wine, every single wine has its ups and its downs, its pros and its cons, and certain wines match certain dishes. And I think if you were to take that approach towards life, you will definitely drink more sweet wine than bitter. So please comment, like, share, or subscribe to our videos.